Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we're going to talk about what are the different ride heights. So we have our handy ruler. So we're going to go ahead and start at entry to low to medium to high and see the different heights. Uh, this was a request by someone in the comments. So guys, if you ever have any requests, please feel free to leave them below and I'll try to, you know, do those videos for people. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get the ride height to entry. Again, this will be the lowest ride height available. So for anyone uh, that potentially might have, you know, elder parents or someone uh, that needs to get lower, this is gonna be the option for you. So let's go ahead and measure the entry height. All right, guys, and at the entry height, you can see we're right at about 10 inches from the ground, which is really, really good that it can get down that low and squat. But again, entry height, you're just at about 10 inches going from the floor to the bottom of the truck. Now, as far as step up height, as you can see, even though it's 10 inches down there, you're still gonna have to step up, uh, I'd say about 19 inches to get into the vehicle. So again, entry level height, 10 inches from the ground, but probably about 19 inches to 18 inches physically stepping up. All right, guys, now we've gone from entry to the low ride height. Again, the low ride height is going to be the default. Whenever you're going, you know, highway speeds, it will default to low. But let's go measure the low height at both what's the bottom of the truck say and also what is about the step up height to get an idea of what the low height actually is. All right, guys, and looking at this, whenever you go from entry to low, you're, you're probably gain about an inch, inch and a half. So it looks like from the floor to the bottom, it's about 11 to 11 and a half inches, so about an inch and a half, whenever you go from entry to low. And then as far as the step up height, I'm gonna put it right at about 19 to 19 and a half inches. So again, whenever you go to the low height, you're gonna be about 19 and a half inches. So definitely if you have someone that needs a lower, make sure you default it to entry height whenever you're getting into the vehicle so they can get in easy all right guys next let's go ahead and move to the medium height you can see it's really fast whenever it goes high uh, now we're at medium so let's get out and check the height of medium all right guys at medium height you're sitting at about 12 inches uh from the ground which is pretty interesting uh that going from low to medium is about an inch another inch and a half and the entry height i put it at about 20 inches on medium. So again, this is gonna be that default height. It looks really strong and aggressive. And on medium, you can go over 25 miles an hour, but whenever you go to high, it will lower you at 25. So again, this is what medium looks like. Take a good look. Pretty, pretty good. All right, guys, next up, we're gonna go from medium all the way to high. And definitely uh, a longer time to get from medium to high. So I'm curious to see what this is. So let's get out and let's measure what high is. All right, guys, looking at high, you're sitting at just about 14 inches. So again, medium was about 12 inches from the bottom. High is about 14, so another two inches. So pretty, pretty good uh, distance from the ground. And as far as stepping up in high, you're going to be looking at right about 23 inches. And guys, let's take a look at high. High is definitely, you know, really an aggressive look. And again, you can only be at high at certain speeds. Once you go over 25, it is going to automatically drop you. That's going to be a safety thing and also for an energy thing. Uh, but yeah, overall, guys, um, yeah, the high looks looks really, really good. Um, now, I did see that there's a hack. And with the hack, you can basically trick the truck into being thinking it's lower than it really is and it will ride an extra inch and a half. Um, if you want to do that, by all means, do that. Uh, but do know that whenever you you know mess with stuff, you could potentially void the warranty for the area that you mess with. So if you mess with the suspension and you get a suspension issue, you could void the warranty for the suspension. Not the entire warranty, but just the, the area that you mess with. Also, uh, one thing to note is that if you do have uh, an issue with height uh, with somebody, you can also lower the seats up and down. So say, for example, if you have somebody that's, you know, really short, you can lower the seat down too. So you can also put it in medium 
and lower the seat. Um, the cool thing about lowering the seat is when you lower the seat, you also get more headroom too, right? So for people that, you know, are short, they might want to lower the seat, but also people that want more headroom that are super tall, you might want to lower the seat. Um, when you do lower the seat though, it does change, you know, your view out the window and it does change that. But that's one thing to also know. So again, you can do the height plus lowering the seat to make it a little easier. Also, you can also add um, the steps, right? So if you wanna add the steps, you can definitely add the steps. And I've seen the steps range in price, uh, but definitely an option for people that want to do that. And one more thing to check out is gonna be the off-road mode. So let's see what that does. Uh, prioritizes off-road mode, use your discretion. So if I go up to off-road mode, Okay, it looks like it just gives you more data about the tires, the traction, and uh, the, the temperatures, right? So that's really cool that you can see that information, but it doesn't give you any higher, so that's also important to know. And it will be speed uh, limited, but pretty cool. All right, guys, thank you for watching this quick video on the heights and the measurements. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you have a comment or another idea for another video, leave it below. Uh, please like and subscribe, and you guys have a wonderful day.